I think they already have systems in place to accommodate you to so they know that you, we have to um, shut <laughs> 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 so for me it was quite difficult but as as it went you gain the natural interest to get And the school, like for our school, they organized a, a welcome session basically mm. where all the international students came to welcome us. Then afterwards, we could have like snacks and drinks and everything. So, with me, when I arrived, I came by myself. <laughs> I knew no one here, no one was expecting me. So, I was nervous, like, yo. Because there were some people from South Africa that came through, but they went to other parts of France. So for me, I was the only one who came this side. So when I came, the first time I came, I'm like, okay. When they're like, okay, everyone go have snacks. So you could see everyone going yeah. into groups. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Where do I go? Where do I go? <laughs> do I join a certain type of group? Or you're like, when you get there, like, at this language they're speaking here, I do not know. Like, can I join yeah. a group that can speak English? Yeah. Like, I remember there was one group I joined. And you could feel that they are already a clique and I don't think they want an extra yeah, person. Yeah. So luckily as I was dishing up I met Mary. Mary was the first person I met and then she took me and to join yeah, everyone yeah. else, the Ghanaian group. So I was like there. That's when I got to meet everyone. And when I went to come to my residence, there was a guy there who told me that there was Louisa and he was gonna introduce me to her because we're in the same residence. So that's when I finally got to meet meet her. Yeah. And then we became friends. Yeah, yeah then we became there. friends. And then yeah. I got to meet everyone else. So, yeah, that's how. And even in class, like you meet people in class that you. But meet. how quickly do you think it was? With what? With meeting people in class or? With becoming friends, actually. It was quick. For me, it felt like it was quick. Oh. Because I feel like we we're all in a confused <laughs> we're all kind of confused yeah. we're all trying to figure yeah. everything yeah. out yeah. so it doesn't feel like um you don't feel alone like ah, i'm the only one that doesn't know what is happening here like there's a group of us here so we all have to able to speak and assist each other yeah. and help each other because yeah. someone knows what uh, someone yeah. else doesn't so you're able yeah. to yeah. so yeah for me personally i i feel like it was quick okay. um and even after school, we, we had the what is that scientific communication week. Yeah, we would eat during lunch, we would sit with each other, mm -hmm. and with you because we're all we're at the same place, so we'd always walk together, mm. we'd talk, we'd get to know each other. Um, so yeah, for me that's great. I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think it's really quick among your people. I mean, mm. we as black people, it's quicker. And from where people are from the same place where mm. 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 sorry. So she's good. <laughs> so she's good. Yeah. So most of my friends are Ghanaian, like we all came from with from Ghana together. So we relate a lot on a lot of issues. So I think that is where you get to be friends quickly because being friends with the French people is it's hard on, on the onset. Because first of all, the language barrier, you're not able to speak so much French, so you cannot relate with them, you cannot like laugh at their jokes or they cannot laugh at your jokes either. <laughs> you cannot just share, you cannot have any meaningful like something in the beginning. That's true. Yeah. So in the beginning it was more of Ghanaians, the blacks and we are together. And I think as it progressed, we got so close with the Asians, especially the Indians. Mm. We got quickly, um, we became friends quickly with them as well because, like, once again, we relate a lot on the, um, a lot of stuff like with our culture, mm -hmm. our food, <laughs> and everything. So it was like a nice way to get closer to them quickly. Mm. So, yeah, I think it depends on your entourage. Mm. And the people that you find around yourself in. Um, 
how fast it goes and i think another thing like incorporating like with the french students if i could say like like in my course like, even in yours there's a lot of group work like a lot of group work and they make sure that they mix, mix you yeah. up um so in those times like of course you're working but the time they're just talking you get to know stuff about them you get to know stuff about other countries okay. you get to meet them yeah you might not some you might m actually make meaningful For friendships friendship. some I is just know. that you know you yeah. know that now you know each other when you see each other like hey, hi, hey hi. you know or they invite you for things you know so it's it's I think you just have to open yourself. Yes, that's up. what I was gonna say. It also depends on your personality yeah. because I think she's more extroverted than I am. So no, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so with me, I mean, for me, it was difficult. In the beginning, I felt like I was just stressing myself because you need to do the extra, like be interested in people, asking them about their culture and all of that, and it's draining. Honestly, it's draining. <laughs> so for me, it was quite difficult, but. As, as it went, you gain the natural interest to get to know about people and then with that you can become friends quite easier mm, mm, mm. So yeah And this is experience with the job market, mm. finding internships and then learning French <laughs> Honestly, the competition is is, is getting worse <laughs> Competition is, is, is tough Because once again you are international you are an international student so that's mm. that gives you that's a barrier because they have to f f um cater for the locals before mm. you secondly you are african you're black so that alone is a as another barrier if you're not then that's not the problem then third the language you are anglophone and then you 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 have to speak french so it's like there are three walls between you and the job. So it is very, very competitive. Very competitive in finding it. Very much. So you need to put in your extra. Mm -hmm. As she said earlier, it was so hard to find internships. People had to find it until the very last moment. You went through how many interviews? I think I did. I had, for the company I eventually worked for, I had three interviews with them. But I had an interview with another company. I remember I had one telephonically. Immediately, when she could no. hear that uh, my French is not strong enough, she was like, no. No. The is, is too technical. <laughs> yeah. You have technical terms you're going to use and you're going to struggle. So she's yeah. like, no. Yeah. Honestly, people are going to reject you because of your French. Mm -hmm. People are just going to say, oh, Desolé, no, yeah. we need French, we need yeah. French. So yeah. it's difficult and competitive. So you need to be tough. You mm -hmm. need to be tough. Mm -hmm. Either you um, you you target company, uh, countries where yes. you don't have to speak French, yes. like in Belgium, mm -hmm. or you go to Germany, or, or Netherlands. Netherlands there you don't need french and english mm. it's fine mm. or you learn your french so that comes to <laughs> learning french <That's> true. <laughs> learning french it no. takes it takes <laughs> it, you have to be motivated for me i'm going to share my story about my learning of french because i think i i did my best but it takes motivation like you need to be motivated for me it was because i needed to get a job for my the course that I wanted to do, so I had to kill myself to learn the French. I had to put in my best. So it depends. It is the motivation, <laughs> guys. <laughs> you have to be motivated. Like, be motivated, because know that without it, you you're going to suffer so much. Because mm. your opportunities are lesser mm. to the kind of jobs you can access. So okay. if this is in your mind, I think that is alone. That alone will push you to to learn French. Okay, learning French. <laughs> but I was told that my accent sucks. <laughs> yeah. I struggle with the French R. Oh my goodness. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Yo, I struggle with the French R. And when I... For me, I, there are moments I feel very demotivated when I speak because I just feel like um, my accent and the struggle to say that are so it doesn't make sense what I'm saying at all the one advice our phrase teacher will tell us that don't Translate like don't say the phrase in your 
and your head in English, then translate it like word for word in French, it will not make sense. And I have that problem of struggling of, okay, don't word for word, like, you know, oh, I, like, yeah. <laughs> like, don't try and do that because the whole sentence doesn't make sense. Yeah. Um, but the one thing that's, um, Louisa is mentioning, you, there are moments where you, even even in a shop, you just want to find out like the size, where's the size of this jean, like I want size, and you go to someone, Vupala Angla is not enough now, because people are like, no, no, because they also don't want to speak English, because they feel the same as you feel about speaking French, yeah, yeah. so then you struggling there, like, oh, where's my size, like, <laughs> like yeah. so there's a level of inconvenience you get, and limitation that you get, yeah. to interacting, jobs, so it's, it's, Learn in French, you should, when, once you come here, you should make it a priority. Just expose yourself to the language. I think that's basically it. Listen to whatever, podcasts, music, movies, en français. And I think, like yeah. <laughs> and I think I'm going to do a video on how I learned my French. Then we'll see. Uh, how does the, okay, read it. How does the proof of, how does the proof of funds work yeah like proving of funds for your scholarship uh, no for the visa oh how does it work i think for france you just need to show a, a bank statement of a three months bank statement three? when no when you are coming you need to show a bank um a proof that you have a certain amount, amount. in your bank account I think you need like seven, eight hundred per month. It's, it's six hundred and something. Six hundred yeah. euros per month. I, I'll something. find the details and put on the, skip, on the yeah. screen. Yeah, so six hundred per month yeah. for 10, 12 months. I so it's going to be like the six hundred times twelve. So that's around seven thousand or eight thousand euros. Mm -hmm. You need to have that blocked in a bank account. Mm -hmm. And then you show them that you have this money in this blocked account. And then that's when you can prove that you have the money to cater for yourself for the next year. <laughs> <What's she laughs> <said? laughs> yeah, I think that's how it works. I don't know if it's different from every country because this is what I know for Ghana. <laughs> Oh my god. Shoot, link it up here. Yeah, I'll link it up here. <laughs> oh my god, the sushi is done. Okay, that's so here. Good yeah. This question this question is funny, like what's this? What was the question? How did your bum grow in a year? Lol. How <laughs> honestly, let's talk about gaining weight. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> I gain weight. Let me be honest. Now. For me, I'm a stress eater. And I'm stressed. I want to eat. And I got into this horrible habit of eating even after 12. Ooh. Like, when I, I got into that habit and, you know, eating and falling asleep is not the best thing. <laughs> so for me, that was, it wasn't really even, like I was eating a lot of takeaways. I was cooking, ne? And I tell myself, okay, I'm cooking, I'm gonna put it in a container, I'm gonna eat it for two days, you know? <laughs> right on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how for me, again, it was stress, and I was eating a lot. Yeah. And then, yeah. So. And I think, here yeah, you get stressed a lot. Like, life as an international student is stressful sometimes. Because, mm. one, first of all, is loneliness. Yo. Because at some point, at a point, you're just, you, you're just lonely. I don't know. There's this feeling, and it's terrible. It just comes. <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> and then that's it. It's crazy. It's so terrible. And then during those times, you, you can fall into the habit of eating to feel mm. okay. Secondly, when you're stressed with all this internship and work, school work, school work is hard here. Like I keep saying this. Schooling from eight to eight is not it's not easy and after that you have other projects to focus on so it's it's terrible 
and when you have all this thing stressing you i think food is like a remedy and mm. that causes the way i i don't i don't really have issues with eating like when i'm stressed but i i don't know how i gained weight i think i was eating i don't know were I you was cooking eating. a lot for takeaways <laughs> okay i wasn't cooking a lot that's why. That's why. That's why. That's why. Maybe. And I think they can stress you here. Your friend, when it comes to admin. Ah. Oh yeah, I think I've said this in one of my videos. Uh, oh my goodness. Up to today, up to today, I still don't have some of my documents, and you need to keep pestering them. Like. And I. <laughs> it's crazy. The the documentation. Oh my is, goodness. It's hard. Yo. And they'll threaten you. They'll threaten yeah, you. and it's like, but I did everything you wanted to do. On your side, like, yeah. no. Like, <laughs> it's, it's hard. And all of this uh, is just so much that it's, I think it's hormonal as well. So when all these things happen, you can either lose weight or okay. gain weight. Yeah, that's then, true. Yeah, so probably, I think it went to the other side and then. And then a certain part of your body that absorbed that. The eating, yeah. you know, just goes down, down there. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> and my cheeks, oh my god! But it's fine, it's fine. Whoa! Um, <laughs> can I read this question? Can I read this question? Okay. A whole year. Hey. Any Mister Right? Sadly, you know. <laughs> A whole year. Hey. <laughs> Mr. Right, where are you? I'm looking for my journey. <laughs> <laughs> Question. Question. <laughs> oh my and god. Oh yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think we'll just end here. No. <laughs> no, no elaboration. No <laughs> elaboration. No details. <laughs> my question my answer to this is to be continued. <laughs> <laughs> I shall ask this question again. <laughs> Any French boyfriend or crush? No. Are they present or absent? <laughs> crush. Have you French ever crush? Crush. And a French boy? No. I just, I've just found some people just cute, like cute. Crush. But not a crush, crush. No. Mm. And a French guy, no. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> I've been on dates. <laughs> yeah, okay. With French people, yeah. right? Um, um, it's okay. Number one, language. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. being on a date with someone, a French person, and of course they'll try and speak English. Because they want to, you know, get to know you too. Yeah. <laughs> um, but some things you not understand each other, because he cannot explain it. I feel like there's a level of um, expressing or communication that we lack, because number one, you don't know French. She's trying to speak English, or you trying to speak French, and he doesn't understand what you're saying. Google Translate is not doing the right things for you. You are saying this is saying that. <laughs> like, <laughs> So on dates, um, they're very gentle. Okay, the thing that first shook me, right, was the whole. Mwah, mwah. Hey, I was <laughs> like, I love you too. <laughs> like I was like, hey, what are you doing, man? I'm like I just met you now, like, cause they come in, like they come and hold your waist. Okay, like I don't hold know. on. I don't know right. you that well. <laughs> yeah. Like that's one thing that was a bit of a shock for me. Like when you meet them, you wanna go in for a hi. And they're just, they're like, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. and then okay, the people are going they're quite gentlemen, you know. But they don't do the whole thing of pull your chair and you sit down, but they do the whole thing of open the door, you know. Uh, bill wise, the okay, one day I've been on, he paid the bill, child, <laughs> you gotta pick them well, <laughs> and then, um, the one we split. The one uh, we paid for ourselves, like you pay for yourself, you, you know, but we shared the food. Um, so yeah, but conversation wise, it's quite interesting because you learn certain things. And some of them, they are French because they're from 
francophone countries you know like uh morocco benin benin Senegal. In, yeah those countries so you get to learn about their country too uh and then you, and then you see similarities or differences with your own country so yeah mm. it says what is life abroad here like and is it the same as movies like you see in the movies is it the same yeah i'm gonna watch the a movie where French movie. French movie. I think everything they say in French movies are true. Um, this movie, Amelia in Something Paris. in Paris. Emily in Paris. Paris. It's true. I think it's just that. It. You know what? This it talks about the pool, the the bonjour, the bread. Um, I think the stereotypical things about France are actually true. Most of them, except for the whole romantic whatever. I yeah, don't see. I don't, <laughs> I don't see that. But in the movies, I think the portray the movies portray the beautiful sights of abroad. Yes, but they're actually very bad parts, <laughs> like very dirty, very <laughs> um, slummy. Yes. I don't know if that's the word. <laughs> yes. This this things exist here. Like the first day I came yes. to Vegas, I was shocked to see <laughs> <Me> Vegas. <too. laughs> I could. Over ten, even today when we walk through town, like a lot of beggars around. So no one see you don't see this on TV. Like beggars, how how are beggars in Europe? Like how? I didn't expect that. To, I, I didn't. Did, yeah. So I think it's this sort of. Uh, I don't. I, 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 don't question, yeah. I think another thing I didn't expect was when I went to Paris. <laughs> the <laughs> Hey, boy, when I went to Paris, like. Driving in, I went with the bus, like driving into Paris, and I saw, like, and let's say we call it shacks, like, you know, made with, like, you know, you take a um, corrugated iron and make a place to stay for yourself, you know? Hey! <laughs> I was like, oh, Paris! <laughs> I did not expect that. Yeah. Paris was, it has beautiful spots. Even in Paris, I didn't expect to see mice running around. Hey! I didn't expect that. Like, I didn't expect that. Big, big one. Big ones, even. <laughs> So I think that's it. Life abroad, I think life abroad is, is actually normal. Sometimes I honestly forget I'm abroad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. It's very normal. Like it's 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 not different. It's not very different. I think it's I sometimes forget that I'm actually abroad. Yeah. Because it's like it's it's I don't know how to explain. You get into a routine mm -hmm. so much that it feels like this has been my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, oh, we're almost done. So oh, soon. Wow. <laughs> if you weren't on scholarship, how would your financial capacity be? Woo! <laughs> hard. Very hard. <laughs> <laughs> Very hard. Very oh, hard. Yeah. I think coming here on a scholarship is. It, it should be the best thing that will happen to you like mm. it makes life much easier yeah. and because i don't know it depends actually if your family back home is rich enough then i think that's okay hey, you better pass <laughs> <laughs> but for me i don't think it would have been easy because currently the Ghanaian city one is to ten now one euro, one city, hmm. eh, one euro is to ten cities in Ghana. But when we came here, it was around seven cities last year. So in a, in a, just a year, it has increased to like thirty percent. So just imagine my parents were taking care of me. Now whatever they send is not enough anymore because the the inflation mm. rate keeps mm. increasing and it's. Well, no, mm. without the scholarship would have been hard. But I think people have survived. Most people here come with one year scholarship, and then the second year they have to cater for themselves. That is actually quite better because after a year, you figure out ways to like continue living. And we have people, Kudu, Kudu is here mm -hmm. without the scholarship, but you need so much money. Like, you, you need, need to save someone, up a lot. And someone to be taking care of you because yes, working alone, I don't think it's enough. Like we said earlier, I don't think it's enough at all mm. to um, 
yeah so if i weren't on this scholarship financial capacity will be so hard but it's possible like you, j- you just cannot ha- live a certain life like yes. you cannot be comfortable yes, yes it's true if expenses just come out of nowhere it's you true. really know how to deal with it because with health especially you have to like pay for drugs or mm. to the hospital you have to sometimes pay and if you cannot cater for yourself maybe you cannot even get to travel around mm. and all of that so mm. financial capacity will be it would be difficult it would be difficult but it's possible once you get a job like a good paying job your life will be okay yeah i agree it, it would be possible it's just you have to tighten up the belt like the certain things that you can't you, do. you cannot do mm. even if like you have friends and like oh let's do it. you have to be like oh just have to hold it together because you, because you will have to pay for so many things. You have to pay for fees, for rent, all of those things. Um, so it will take a lot of discipline, uh, definitely on lowering the expense you have on your lifestyle. Like, you know, you can't every season, every new season of fashion. You out there, you can't like because you have to save up and do all these things. Yeah. You know? yeah. Um. So it, it yeah. Yeah, but if you are here for maybe a master's program and it's going to be a year or two i think it's okay you can try your best and then kill it kill yourself for those few short period and mm. make sure you get a job mm. <laughs> right after work yeah. with that you can pay for your your fees if your school allows you to like um pay later after work like mm. after graduating mm. you can pay for your fees and then move on yeah right? yeah and improve your french yeah so that you can get good job yeah like, that is good and pain. yeah yeah or you can get multiple even like maybe be a i don't know virtual assistant and a babysitter and a, you know something else but improving your friends would help and the last question oh i think we've spoken about this already yeah getting a job as an international student i think we've touched this yeah yes. It's hard, <laughs> but I think it's possible. We we've seen people get it, like my seniors who have been in France. What kind of job? Internship or like a, a job is, after? Yeah, I think this is a job after. After it's possible, yeah. I, I, a lot of people are getting jobs actually, but I think you first of all you need to be hired. Like you need to be hard. Mm push in walls that are like not allowing just push in you need to be so hard so so hard like i don't know how to explain be harder than the your the locals because in every situation they're going to choose a local over you because it's much easier Mm -hmm. to hire them Mm -hmm. they don't have to like sponsor them their visa sponsor all 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 of those other things yeah that's true if i was a ceo managing my own company i would definitely go for a local where i don't have to spend so much than go for you an Mm -hmm. international student Mm -hmm. so you need to be like extra Mm -hmm. extra good for them to say i choose you i think another thing is for the jobs um multinational companies look at those because mm. those it's they already understand that you're an international person and they're looking so, for you yeah so mm-hmm. they have already a system in place mm-hmm. to deal with their documents and stuff so, uh, with some companies that are just french based there it might be eh, you know you have to really be if it's a company you really want to work for you have to really do their work or the research or everything to make <laughs> No, I know. <laughs> to make sure that you get in but with multinational companies for them i think they already have systems in place to accommodate you to so they know that we have to um, deal with your visa they know that they have to do with the documents so it's fine but for startups and for and for like companies that are just raised here in france it can have a bit of a you know more competitive so yeah. you have to they prove to them that i am worth me dealing with my documents and making sure that i stay in this country like i'm worth it yeah <laughs> so you need to like improve yourself while you learn mm. take extra courses that was yes. one thing that helped me but one time i had an interview and the man saw like on my cv an extra course that i had taken yeah. like oh you took this extra like so like 
do extra stuff just it's do true. extra stuff true. just anything you could volunteer in your school well, sorry. come out of your walls and then just do something that will make you stand out like a normal um job session because yeah. your job session on its own is hard it's even hard for the local yeah, like, actually, yeah. I, don't, I don't think you even think of that. Yeah. yeah, job search on its own is uh, it's hard. So being an international student makes it like double harder. Yeah, and then an anglophone, uh, yours is even worse. Like so, you have to. So I guess that's that's it. We're done. I don't know. One thing I want to say is this is our experience, and it's very much different mm. for everybody. It could be good for you, could be worse or whatever. Like, there's no standard. Everybody mm. comes in, writes their own story. Mm. Part, different parts. Even the both of us, we have different stories and everything. But all you ne- need to know about being an international student is just put in your best, believe in yourself and what you can do. Mm-hmm. And even when you're down, allow yourself to be down. And then come up again and don't give up. You yeah. don't want to go back to your country. Like, yeah. You want to show. You, know, <laughs> you have to have something yeah. to show. Like, yeah. So you have to like yeah. Yeah. put in. And I think your experience here will be great. If you love this video, please like it. Leave a comment. And... If you loved it and you want to see another type of video like this or <laughs> any other questions that you want us to do and we couldn't even eat the food like we I actually so want much. to see the donuts but there's so much yeah, I don't know look how cute this one is like this one yeah the blue one, the blue one is it they're so cute yeah. like okay the rainbow one so yeah, love, like this video, share it to any friend that you know is coming to France or yes, traveling yes. for school. Uh, leave your comments, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my channel, and I promise to be posting videos. I promise to be posting videos. I guess that is it. Cheers. So yeah, it was so nice doing this video. Did you love it? I did, I did, I did. Um, I loved it as well. I love to share. As we share our experiences and so it's nice sharing while eating. Yeah, nice. food food is always good. Right. <laughs> so we the two since speak some French. Oh yeah, oh la la. <laughs> oh la la. <laughs> we the two. Um, uh, au revoir. Oh. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> en français, subscribe, c'est. Ah, je vois, je vois. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Just subscribe and bye. Bye. Who's <laughs> to kill his head with making for a kid somehow? Might be that another day she would have wished he stayed with the time. So.